Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a certain type of virus particles which are named as the bacteriophage T2. So what do we mean by bacteriophage or why this name has been given? Phage means virus. Now bacteriophage will be meaning that those viruses which are capable of infecting or causing infection in case of the bacteria. So let's see what are these bacteriophages. Bacteriophage T2, they have been given a scientific name which is phagovirus secundus. Now these viruses, they are mostly coliform virus because they infect the colon bacillus or very common organism or bacterium which is the E. coli. We know this E. coli is present in the gut of, our, of the human intestine. So that is the reason they are known as the coliform virus. Now these viruses, they were discovered by a scientist known as Stuart in 1915. The typical structure of a virus is like this as you can see over here. This structure is differentiated into two major parts. The first is the head region. This portion is considered the head region followed by this the rest of the portion is considered the tail region. So it is composed of two parts the head and the tail region. Now the head you can see it is hexagonal that means six sides and also it has got icosahedral ends. Now these are formed by the protein capsomeres as we know we have talked about these capsomeres when we discussed about the components of virus. So these capsomeres they give an icosahedral type of appearance to these type of bacteriophage T2 viruses. These they have got about 2000 such capsomeres which give this icosahedral structure like appearance and the genetic material for these type of viruses is double stranded DNA molecule. Now it has got a cylindrical tail right so as you can see over this uh, tail is like cylindrical it has got about 200 protein subunit these protein sheets is, is you, as you can see over here so there are about 200 such subunits they are proteinaceous now a very important characteristics of this bacteriophage t2 is that this tail we are seeing it can uh, concise or constrict in size and it can contract longitudinally that is Typically, it can act like an injection. So, this size will, uh, it can contract and the size will become smaller. And because of which, it can inject its genetic material, the double stranded DNA into the infecting host organism. So, this is a very important characteristics that is provided by this type of tail. They have got the base plates as you can see over here. These are known as the base plates. They are hexagonal in structure. Now, from each of these base plates arises six such fibers which are known as the tail fibers and also there are six pin like structures. Now an important property of these pins and the tail fibers is that at the tip of these structures they have got some hydrolyzing enzymes known as the isozymes. So these are the hydrolyzing enzymes. What will be the function of these enzymes? They help in creating a hole on the surface of the bacterium. From this hole, this tube will enter and hence the genetic material will be pushed inside the host bacterium. So these hydrolyzing enzymes are helping in the process of infection. The head and the tail, this head and the tail is joined by a region which is known as the neck or it is also known as the collar region. So in this video, we have talked about a certain type of virus known as the bacteriophage T2. So these are the typical viruses which can infect the bacteria and we have also talked about the certain characteristic features of this type of viruses. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.